Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Bastian. This is part two of a discussion of laryngospasm, a sudden, terrifying breathing problem. In case you didn't see the first part, a brief review of the subject uh, is uh, appropriate before we move on to, to this uh, current discussion. The vocal folds are like a pair of lips that are found inside the voice box here in the middle of the neck. When we breathe, they open widely to allow air between them and down into the lungs. When laryngospasm happens, whether it's during the day or in the middle of deep sleep, the vocal folds instead suddenly clamp together and that briefly blocks or nearly blocks the upper airway. And there's usually a loud <gasps> noise that happens at the same time. Well, this causes understandable panic as the person struggles to breathe in and it looks uh, actually quite dangerous even to, and, and life-threatening to onlookers as well. Now, thankfully, it's not dangerous and it usually lasts somewhere around 60 seconds or less. The only really dangerous circumstance is in relation to general anesthesia and it's fairly easily managed in that context. Now, sometimes there is a known cause of laryngospasm more commonly, the cause isn't known, and we speculate that it may be nerve damage to the sensory nerves caused by a virus. There are two basic treatment approaches for laryngospasm. A behavioral technique called straw breathing, that's our term, and that's used just to manage each individual episode. The second